if it wasn't for Bomba and it wasn't for the community that came for me, I mean, I went into Bomba mode for real after he died. You know, I was doing shows and everything. I didn't even like, that was my, I had to, I had to. I think back and I think back and I think, how would I have gotten through that? Um, yo soy Marisa Torres. Um, soy de, uh, the barrier of Oakland. Soy Puerto Rican. Mi familia es de Calle. Pero, you know, I grew up in the Bay Area, though. You know, you're so, you know, I'm a Bay Area girl. You know, you're so the Oakland. Shoot. 510. <laughs> but with five, 650. Five, no. <laughs> um, I saw um, Bumba for the first time, and it was actually Aguacero. And I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> And then it was about two years later, again, my brother said, Marisa, we're going to go to Julia Cepeda's class. And I was like, okay, I don't know even know who that is, right? Julia Cepeda. That was it, you know, and I've been studying since, you know, six years now. Bombas provided healing for me. You know, you know, losing my husband two and a half years ago, it, it just happened so fast. We had a Bomba show December 16th. It was our annual um, Christmas show at the AU Lounge. And that morning, he just wasn't feeling well, you know? And I was like, oh, so it's okay. I'm going to go get my homie. You're going to finish your science project. And, you know, the work of Sina, you know, my sofa, you know, I'm going to make you some soup. And I watched him die, you know, and it was really hard for me and my sons. And it was just so sudden. It was just like, you know, we just saw him like seven hours ago. And all of a sudden he just died. He was very healthy, almost 50 years old, teacher, amazing man, you know, artist. You know, it's just it's time to go. Like it's foggy, but they said, what do you want to do? I said, I want Bomba. That's what I said. I messed around and said that. And five hours later, you know, my sister, and my mom, they go to Costco. We got food everywhere. There's like, 
you know, 30 people, you know, and we had a band and it was beautiful, you know, and, and, and it was beautiful. Stretch as much as you can. Yeah. Cause he's gonna be pulling down. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So it's gonna dry like that. If you right. if you leave it like that when it's dry, it's then, then it becomes yeah. brittle. Yeah, you see like this. Yes, Bernie. Mm -hmm. That's good. No, I mean, I want that. No, 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 And I was so, you know, comforted and, and held. You know, the elders in our group, they, they, they wouldn't leave me alone. They took shifts. They rubbed, you know, oils on me, you know, and they talked to me because I didn't understand what death looked like. I had never done that. So when that happened in my house, it was just a comforting spirit. Like he was there and we were, you know, it's okay. And now it's, it's, it's amazing because here we are like two and a half years later and I see them now and they're like, hey, we're so happy to see you smile again. You know, we're so happy. I'm like, if, if it wasn't for Midna, Eileen, uh, uh, Cynthia, you know, Sandra, everybody. If it wasn't for them, you know, I still have my community. I still have my brothers. I still have, you know, my sisters and I still got the body. You know, I, and the songs and the music, and if I just put it on, you know, it takes me out of depression, you know, it, it wakes me up, you know? That's how it does it. You know, llévame la bomba. Llévame la bomba. Que me estoy muriendo, llévame a la bomba, ay Dios, que me voy a morir. That's my strength. That's what keeps me alive. So, you know, whatever keeps you alive, that's, dale bomba lele keeps me alive. Bomba keeps me alive. Bomba.
yeah, that's the journey that happened. And here I am, like a year later, and I'm smiling again, and you know, look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm smiling again. That's what happened.